Hi friends, today I want to make a journal out of recycled rolls that we don't use for the toilet paper and a little yeah. junk journal type thing for just little notes and whatever, just a little fun little junk journal, just something mini. So I cut the toilet paper roll in half, fold it, rolled it over with my roller to get to the back and now I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to use my um, decolletage, matte decolletage from Deco Art, and some scrap paper. I have a basket full of scrap papers and um, paper towels, and just a whole bunch of decolletage, and just pile it on, however way, and just have a cute little mini, easy to mail mini journal. And I think you can do like some pages and paint on them. I just haven't figured out what to do for the pages yet. There's some easy signatures. I was thinking of if you want to add ATCs to do uh, accordion, you could make this a little ATC book. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today. I was just kind of thinking that would be really neat. But it could be just, oops, it could be just like a cute little um, mini journal book that you can pass around and do mini art in in the mail so that'll be fun so I'm gonna put down tons of paper here whatever goes off the edges I will just cut off Go. It's fun already. Colors. It's small. And small enough to, to quickly be able to mail out. So. There we go. I like those colors. These are just papers that were sent to me, some of them in, in Happy Mail. So I'm using up some of these prints and paints, painted paper. Let's see what I have. Some of these flowers I've painted and I've given away. And maybe I will do a flower on here. This is cardstock. Actually, this is watercolor paper. So this is pretty thick flower. And I'm going to turn it so I don't want too much. I want to be able to, mm, I'll save that paper maybe. Oh, actually, I'll just throw it here. I was going to save it, but I want, don't want to put too much thick of paper on the spine. So I was like, oh, I should be thick that one. Here's a music paper, a little yellow. That's perfect right here. Add a different splash of color. So then I have my cover. I'm going to do my inside cover as well. I'm going to dry that off though before I do my inside cover because I want to still be able to fold that into my cover. There we go. So that's the outside so far. Let's see how that's going to be when I dry that. I've decided that I'm going to make all um, four of my journals on video today, just now. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to make all four journals on the video today. And um, I kind of want to just square them off here a bit. Now these are all going to be mailed out to people. And they will see them, be surprised. And these are going to be like mini art journals. Like, you know, you people can pass along, but these ones are just going to be like, thank you, little art journals, and I'll do some art, and then they can do some art in it, and then they'll have a little bit of my art, and they can have some of their art, and they can keep it, so that's what this is for, so, but like I said, you could do an ATC one, and I was playing with an accordion to be able to hold the ATC, just to do it and cutting it the size, 
and being able to hold the ATC, although you will just have a little glue on your edge of your ATC, but that's the best idea I could come up with, unless we put packaging in there and cut up packaging, which that would work as well to make sleeves for an ATC. So actually, that would work really well, too. I just had a plate with it. So I'm going to make four of them. Might as well do all of them on the video. And this is recycling my toilet paper and using up my scraps and a nice sediment as well. So people just like to receive art in the mail for no random reason. So there's going to be four for the ladies I have in mind. Okay, so now I'm going to keep adding um, scraps to them. This one's dry, but since I'm going to be doing that now, I'm going to leave this to the side for now, and then I'm going to um, do the inside. I'm going to fold it again just to make sure I got the spine all good. And then so I'm going to leave this one to the side right at the moment, work on my next one, and do the same thing. Um, just I could be doing all of them at once, but since you guys probably can't see <laughs> with this lovely um, webcam that's going on me, um, if I go too high, you guys can't see a thing. So I might as well just keep it closer and do it this way. So I'm just going to start another one. So this one's some wrap paper that was um, part of the Happy Meal, like the packaging that was in. This is nice solid paper. So this is going to be great. And I'm just going to add more glue. The much or decolipage, deco art is what I'm using. Matt, I like um, mostly I use Matt, but Sheen is good in some spots. But for the most part, I have to say I use the mat all the time. So I'm going to go see. Look, this is just nice strips. So I'm going to go in and just soak the glue on there. I'm not in a hurry to get it done, so I don't need to fussy with the pages or pieces, each piece being exact, cutting it out and all that. That one on the spine, i got to be careful because sometimes little pieces don't want to stick, but we'll see how that works. I think that's all for that one. Let's see if I can find one more packaging. I really like that piece. There's probably some right here. Probably tons, actually. <laughs> I like this color, so I'm going to put that right there, mm, right here actually. I like that nice blue. It looks kind of greeny now that I think some of the paint's moving. I don't know what kind of paint it is. It could be. I have no idea because I didn't paint it, and it's spreading pretty well. So, <laughs> but still looking great. I like this one because it's also the same color, the paper color as the. Um, toilet paper rolls, so if I miss a spot, it doesn't show as much, but it doesn't really matter to you, right, so there we go, got all covered, let's see if I can add a flower that I've made onto this one, I think I'll do it on this side, because i got nice black spots on that side, isn't that nice, and these are just random, I just did random paints, and on watercolor paper too, don't know what I was doing with this. This was old video if I made a video. <laughs> it could have been leftover paper, watercolor paper, that I was just punching out. So I'm going to use that. I'm kind of, kind of want to wipe away. I'm going to get more tissue tape paper here. The, uh, the glue has changed color. There we go because of whatever paint has been used on here. Okay, that's the next one. Let's try another one. Where are we going to go with this one? I got some of these given to me. Let's see what else here. I'm just got, I, these are um, papers I did when I blew bubbles and I added food coloring to bubbles. 
I believe it was food coloring. I also added some gold paint, shimmery paint to it. And it's some of, I don't know if you can see any of it in the background, but that is that. I actually think I'm going to use that paper I made with. Oh, <clears throat> let's see. There's more of it here. There's also music paper. But I think if I can find the bubble paper, I might just use that. Because that was kind of cool. Okay. So here's my bubble paper. Let's see if we have enough for here. Now this was on construction paper, and this is going to move to probably, I don't know. So what I did with this paper to make, this one's mine, I just added color to the bubbles. And if I can find where I put them, I can make more for you guys. Because I kept them. I didn't use them all. And some of the bubbles were really neat because they were sitting on top of the paper. And you're just waiting for them to pop and see what kind of... If you're going you're gonna to see the color of the ring, it's really neat. So that was fun paper to make. Not if you're just doing nothing and you're, you know, not you're just doing something to chill with time because it was a time consuming a bit because you're just sitting there playing with these bubbles. If you go too quick, you're dripping. You like playing bubbles with kids. You're dripping bubble water everywhere. So it was just one of those things that you and you just do with it. With a chill attitude and have fun with it and see what really happens. Like, see this nice little pink bubble there. Um, I can't even remember what colors worked best. The ink didn't work too well, but you still see slight. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that. I'll do it anyway. You can see slight um, gold ring from the ink that I had, like a shimmery ink. In there but didn't work quite the way I liked it for that but that's why I was playing with it just to see see what I can do I'm gonna do a thin one here I'm being a little bit more precise because I don't want to cover up this yummy paper <laughs> and I'm having fun looking at it right now fun with my eyes who wants to cover that up? It is kind of thin because it was um, computer paper, but that's the paper I used. That's what I had on hand. I think I'm just going to go on the edge right here. Oh, I don't want to cover up that beautiful green spot. I'm going to go right along there and just cut what's hanging off. There we go. Mm, look at this yummy bubble paper right here. Add that right here because I don't like how plain that part is. Now I gotta pick a flower because I think I have a theme. That's I'm gonna pop. That one's going to pop. I like this one right here. And there goes my flower. So I could have used um, like stick glue. That probably would have worked a little better. But I'll just keep pushing it back down when I see it up. It's tacky in there. It'll work. It's just that time where it's not so wet. So here's another one. And my very last one. Let's see what we're going to do with that one. I think we'll go with the tissues just for the fun of it. Let's see what I have. These are just paper towels. Regular paper towels. I also have tissue or something here. No, this is um, wipe ups with the insides of nap paper napkins. So let's go with those. Okay. So I got scrap paper packaging that was made, um, bubble paper that was made, and um, paper towel that was used to wipe up paint and purposely carefully saved. <laughs> So it was just meshed up, but I saved it really pretty, pretty like for something and may as well use it because it's just going to sit. So now the question is, oh, so pretty. I can just put it down across the whole thing 
or I can just start tearing it up. I think I'm going to put it down across the whole thing. See what happens. Then add in spots that I want more bright. How's that? I think that's okay. I'm getting glue everywhere. Decolletage everywhere. Okay. This one I'm going to put down. I'm going to tear towards myself. And then flip it over and see if I need any extra colors anywhere that I want. See this nice blue? Isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to add that right over here. Somewhere. I've got to remember I'm going to put a flower. Oh, and there's this nice teal here too. This one's a pretty quick one. And I'm going to put some glue all over this. Let's see how. This one's pretty easy. I don't know if I want to add any more color. I think I love it just the way it is. I think I'm just going to add just a teeny bit to the bottom here. Let's see. I missed a spot. And this is it. It's so easy. So fun. Okay, I'm going to add a teeny weeny bit to the bottom. And there's going to be this little bit of a yellow and there's pink in here. Look how small that has to be. Because I just tore the paper away right there. And this can even just get folded right over if I just press it properly. Okay, loving it. I think I'm going to actually add a little bit more color. Right here. Just because another layer of yellow. I'm happy with that now. Oh, you guys can't see that. I'm moving my camera up and down trying to figure out which spot I can craft more comfortably in. And I'm thinking I must have had it higher up. So now I'm going to choose a flower that I like for up here. Let's see... I have a bucket full, so there's lots of flowers that I made, just tons of designs, so I've got to find one. Okay, I kind of like this, because it's got some color in there. Mixed colors. And I kind of want to add just my flowers now that I started with that so I think I'm gonna stick with that one it's really bright and it's got a little bit extra color and some stenciling because I must have used this as a rub off right there from one of my favorite stencils and I'm going to put the flower on this side and here we go now I'm going to dry all these guys off and I will be back for whatever's next guys that's what I'm going to do be back for what's next. Okay. This is um, pretty cool. I'm happy with these. These are my covers. And I'm really happy that I used my scraps that I just had piled up, like my wrapping, um, tissue paper, t uh, paper towels. This was my bubbles that I just left that I was played with, little things that I haven't used, and scrap paper ends and painted um, music notes, whatever I had. Basically, some of them were given to me, um, and some of them I made on my own, these two. So that's, that's that. Now we're just going to kind of make a book kind of a thing. I just got to make sure it still is able to close the way I want it to close. I'm not sure where I am with my visual here. And if the edges don't line up, I can just add a little washi tape or something like that, homemade washi tape or something. Because I did cut them without flattening them first. I just snipped away, so whatever, right? That's my the way I did it. So I'm just going to fold them and roll over them and make sure they all kind of are like this, like a book. Um, the inside, I'm not sure yet what about the inside, so haven't thought about that but now these are going to be little mini 
journals that I send away to my friends. So um, I'll be back when these are all folded up and I have a plan for the inside. I'm really happy with the way these journals look. I'm going to share this with you. This one has got to be my favorite so far. I got so much glue on me. Mod, or decoupage. This one's going to be my favorite so far of the packaging that was just painted up beautifully for me. I don't know. It's hard to choose one, but I think this one's my most favorite. It's just got so much color. And I didn't add any paint yet, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. But just want to share with you guys. This is so cute. And these are my bubbles. Bubbles! So you can do whatever you want. So these are going to go out, but I'm going to make signatures inside to paint on and to do a little mini mini um, journal, like a travel journal or whatever, but it doesn't have to travel back. It's just do some art and leave room for their art. So I got some papers. I was working on things. I was working on, and I'm just going to make these little signatures with this scrap paper. It's nothing fancy. So some of it, you know, I'll, and just wanted to share with you that I cut down these papers. They were like these computer papers somewhat. They're in four now, basically, scraps, and I'm just grabbing one piece that I already cut and decide. I am not being precise because that's the way I do it, whatever you can be. And I'm just folding over to the to the size that, you know, it wants. This is a junk journal, fun, kind of a junk journal thing. Um, so I want to just have fun with it. I What I did just to plan is to have most of the colors in one corner so that I make sure I have the most colors and then I'm cutting off just these edges like this and that's it and I'm just going along and cutting them off they're not going to be perfect but they're going to be good they're going to be fine for what I need them for <clears throat> and I'm just kind of like doing that just guesstimating what I need in my book trying to make it look as nice and straight as possible and these are my signatures for these books and then I'm going to tie them in with the, oops, I'm going to tie them in with the baker string. So that's what it is. That's how it goes. The computer paper is really nice. The thickest one here is this kind of, well, it's a little thicker computer paper. It's gray. <clears throat> and it's just back paper, like backsplash type of stuff, you know, from painting. So I'm going to put all the colors into the corner here. I'm going to even flip this one. I've got more corner, color in that corner. And then just to have it all, make sure I get the most color in my book, because you can see that some of the colors are off. I might add more colors to it, too. And then I'm just going to kind of put the color corner right in one area. And that's what I'm doing, just to get it to where I want it. And then I know that this is so messy, and I know I want to fold it right here. And that kind of thing. And that's it. It's not precise. It's not perfect. It's just easy and fun. You can make it as perfect as you want. It's just the way I like to do it. I know if I can get away with it looking really nice and I'm happy with it, um, I don't need the perfection. It's the imperfection that kind of makes it unique for me. So if I can do that and it makes me happy in my project, on my project, then um, see this one's going to get cut down a little bit more. Then I'm good. I'm all good with that. Just like that. And it's like I said, not perfect, but I want it just to fit in there nice. So I'll have to trim that down maybe a bit more, but there you go. There's my signatures. So I have my papers ready and I'm just going to make one signature in each. And I got quite a few pieces of paper here. And I'm just going to take my, uh, hole maker and just pop some holes down the center and then I'm going to put my baker twine through there so I'm just going as far as I can so oh, there goes the pop bite I'm just going to go as far as I can I think well maybe not quite as far as I can but just put it in there so it's comfortable and then I'm going to put my twine through now now for the inside so I decided that I'm going to paint the inside not to add any more thickness to the project itself because once everything's in, it's going to be this thick, and I'm just going to paint it now. But what I want to do is I grabbed a toilet paper roll, and I cut a piece off, this piece off right here. And I cut off a strip, and now I'm making a piece to close like this over my, oops, to, uh, over my, 
book. So it's going to be adhered to the inside of the book. It won't be covered by paper, but it will be glued in really well and closed with a little Velcro piece. Just like that. That's going to be painted. So that's what I've decided to do. You can do whatever you want and cover it paper. I thought, oh, I just want to do it that way. I want to make it uh, thinner. And um, I know the Velcro is a little thick, but um, that's the only thing I can think of. I don't want to put magnets in it. So that's what I'm going to do. So I got a new heat glue gun, guys. So no fears there. I'm just going to unravel it from my heat tool. I know you guys were worried about my glue gun experience last time <laughs> when we were live streaming. So I'm going to glue that on. Oh, that's so nice. I hope that lasts. It's just so smooth. Glue that on right down here. And I usually use uh, a more permanent glue, like a, but I think glue gun will work, like a tacky glue or something like that I usually use. Sorry guys, I'm in and out of you, but um, I think this will work for my project. And then I'm just going to paint it. And I know it's kind of weird that I'm not covering it up with paper, but I'm not sure I want to. Like I said, I kind of think I just want to paint it. And there we go. I have a layer here that wants to come off. And then we will have, where did I just stick it? This Velcro, which is here. And I gotta open it up. And I'll just hot glue that on. And yes, I should open it up all the way. Sorry guys, I'm out of view. It's too close. It's too close. This is crazy. So then it's got the loops and the um, piece here. So I'm just going to cut a little piece off like this. And that's all I need is just a teeny piece to be together. They have loop the, the, the dots in that too in stores sometimes you can get. So I don't know. I'm just going to go with this for now kind of rounding my edges off just a bit. <sighs> and we'll see about that. Going right over. Perfect. It'll we'll fit right on that little spot right there. So I'm making it oval. Okay, this is the journal. I'm just painting my outside of the tab here. I'm going to add a little bit of this teal. I don't know. I'm going to think I'm going to change all the colors up a little bit so but yeah, so this one's got a little bit of a teal. I'm just going to add a little teal to my edges because I can, just to get it to come, kind of come together. Play with it. I could just doodle on the front and whatever I want to do afterwards too. So it's whatever. It's just playing. This thing could take forever to do, like hours of um, just playing with it, fussing, um, pen doodling, and that kind of thing. And that's um, all up to you guys if you're doing this project of what you want to do. Um, like you could just go forever with this kind of project. So that's a nice trim to match the strap that I just painted here. And I did, like I said, hot glue it. And I usually do tacky glue, but we'll see how good the hot glue is today and um, see if I like it. And I didn't show you me painting the inside just because, well, that's easy enough. So now we're just going to kind of throw some heat on there and let that, uh, then add the signatures, or the one signature that I have in there, and then it's going to be a teeny mini. Oh, awesome. Show you a tad of painting on this one, of course. Just the same old thing, just painting the inside nothing fancy about that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of alternate some of these paints on top of the others so I'm going to put the blue teal on a little bit of teal on this orange and on the other one I'm going to put a little orange on my 
teal in here, like maybe use a stencil and rub off my brush or something like that, just to kind of get them to be like a little set of sorts, you know. And uh, yeah, so I'm just doing that, and that's what I'm going to do with the colors. I'm just going to kind of blend them in a little bit so that they, you know, that they're set, even though they're not going to be in the same place. They're all going to be different places, but yeah. Kendra, you're supposed to be reading, eh? Hey? You're supposed to be reading, Kendra. What are you doing? Kendra! What? You're supposed to be reading, you know. Doing schoolwork. What are you doing? Watching dead movie? What are you doing then? Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not mad. Huh? Okay, I would like you to do some reading. Of uh, schoolwork or something. Okay? Because that's why I brought you the book, so then it's easier, because you're a good reader. Can you read your next chapter? And it's only a few pages. Your unit? Yeah, in your science, the energy in it. Um, it'll be piled up right beside you on that. Couch drawing table thing, I mean, do you want to, you know what I mean? Lap table thing. Okay, so I was not recording the whole time I was talking, even a second ago. So I used the big stencil for this one here, this big one. I used the small one for this one. I was just thought I'd play with the big stencil on the small project. Not exact, obviously. It's just getting some color on there from the other. And um, so that's what I'm doing. I got this is what this side looks like, and um, just continuing to work on that. Now I'm going to get all of them done. Then I'm going to put my signatures in next. And I'm just going to have add a little bit of color here. Now I'm just stringing these together. So what I'm doing is finding my holes if I moved. And like I said before, the papers are not perfectly um, cut or bowed and whatever. But I think that's the neat uniqueness of it all too. Um, so I'm not too worried. But so here's one. I'm putting together here. I'm just putting through. You can put like a little on a needle and that kind of thing. Tying it up. I am full of paint. This was so fun though. It was like easy, fun craft to do to send out to some friends. So um, it's it's one of those things that just take you know take an hour off and do something and play. There we go. So that's that one. And that's, it's not straight, but it's fun. So, and I think that's good. I could trim it up a little bit if I feel like something's too wonky, maybe. Because I was kind of playing with it with my scissors after before, and I was like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because then I realized my papers were uh, not straight. Like, the holes were not matching. But hey, whatever. Do whatever you like. So this is going to be my little mini 
journal that's going to be passed on to um, someone. And I'm going to do some pages and I'm going to leave some pages for them to do. And yeah, I might do another video where I'm doing a few pages. So that is that. Just a fun little piece. It's not exact. It's crazy. And that's how it goes. So there is one complete. A little bit of a different kind of closure in the back. But I like that. And there we go. So that is one done. I'll be back when they're all threaded through. And we can do a quick little look at So these are the journals. And um, that's what they look like. Um, the end result. I think they really turned out really cute. And there's what it looks like. Recycled toilet paper rolls. Um, packaging that was sent. That was all painted for me. This is paper napkins or paper towels. Swap. You know, using. You know, when I'm painting watercolor and then I'm wiping my brush. Basically, that's what that is. All that yumminess. Bubble testing bubble painting fun techniques and ripped up paper for that um, and this is music paper and all that kind of stuff that's just maybe sprayed as used as background to spray on um, some of it could have been mostly I think that's what it was just used to spray some stuff on and then some scrapbooking paper book paper that kind of thing these flowers I made on watercolor paper and just different stencils or rub offs and then added you know whatever to them to make them cute inking or when I did give them away and stuff before, but I had tons, so now I'm using them in this. So these are going to be cute little mini um, letter journals um, kind of things. They can go back and forth if you guys make them with a friend and do back and forth a few pages, and it's just a mailing a few times or whatever, or just one time where you do a bunch, and then they do a bunch and they keep it. Uh, or, you know, you do a swap where... You can do a swap and saying with this. This is I'm just surprising these people with these ladies with these. But, you know, you can say, well, you make one like this and I'll make one like this and we'll, you know, swap out or whatever. But this is a great idea to make use of some stuff. It's fun, it's cute, and small to post, I think. So, just going to show you. The papers are kind of wonky in it, but that's okay. And that's the whole deal. It's just fun and reuse. Everything has been... Um, the paper was used for splashing, painting, that kind of thing. It's not even, it's very wonky, and but it's fun. And I can go over um, adding some color to it and that kind of thing. So it's whatever. You know, some of them are, one of these ones is really wonky. Look at how the paper is. But it's okay. It'll still be really nice, cute little art you can put in there. Like a little almost ATC size stuff. And uh, have fun with it. So yes, it's going to be a little wonky this one here but they're pretty cute you can go and be, be more precise if you're just doing this project and I was just folding my paper in half like computer sized paper and then in quarters and then just doing it like that and being very tearing it really and just being very quick about it so that's that so I hope you guys like this project maybe give it a try don't forget to craft like a duck I will talk to you guys later bye